Hello everyone, I'm Zephyr, and this video is going to be, I believe, episode 5 of my After Effects beginner tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do adjustment layers, transitions, and masks. So buckle your seatbelts, and let's get going. Now, you should have this project by now on your computer. If you don't, go to episode 3 and 4 and follow the instructions in order to get this. It's best if you follow along so that you get the most out of this experience out of this video so let's begin by expanding both of these just select both and expand now a very quick tip from the get-go if you press the letter U it'll only show the keyframes that have been animated so that way you can save time because last time I opened it as you can see there's just a bunch of stuff under it so if you only press U it only shows the ones that have animations and that's all we want to see we want to delete this animation and this animation that's the part that makes it keep going afterwards we're, we want it to just stop right here because we're gonna do something different in this video now the next thing we want to do is go to effect controls and turn the intensity of the glow to zero same for here we're going to do something different with the glow this time. So what we're going to do is we want the glow to sweep across the text like this to just go whew. and we could do a whooshing sound but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial but it's just going to kind of glide over the text and then the text is going to disappear in a kind of cool way. So how are we going to do that? Well we're going to use a tool called an adjustment layer as well as a tool called a mask. So let's get started on that. Basically, in order to apply effect to only a certain part of the text, you're gonna need to use something called an adjustment layer. So right click right here, or click on layer, new, adjustment layer, or control alt y, but no one remembers that. Ain't nobody got time for that. And you're gonna open this up, and it's just, it, nothing happens obviously basically you apply the effect here and we're gonna copy the effect over since we don't need it on this text anymore just do control X which cuts it and puts it in the clipboard and then control V on the adjustment layer so that we have that same effect and here we can delete the effect from hello my name is alright so now if we apply the glow turn it up again now it applies to all the text under the adjustment layer. That's how adjustment layers work. They apply to everything under it. Now note, if I were to move 7 Zephyr above it, no longer does the glow apply. So it needs to be under the adjust adjustment layer. So with that in mind, this is applying to everything. How do we make it sweep across? Well, that is the trick, gentlemen. I'm going to turn up the intensity a bit so it's more obvious okay now we're going to grab this rectangle tool now since we've selected the adjustment layer if we select a regular layer or a new layer then we can draw a rectangle but if we select the adjustment layer and click on the rectangle it'll do what's called a mask so draw a little rectangle as taller than the text kind of like this and don't put it over the text yet now we have this rectangle if we move it over the text notice that the text starts to light up the glow that's because the mask basically says okay you're not going to apply the effect to anything that is outside the mask okay so that's basically how it works now how do we make it sweep across the text well we are going to go down here and drop down this menu and let's choose a good time pause for a second okay and click this stopwatch right here and what you're gonna do is click have this tool selected kind of select one corner and then press shift and select the other corner start dragging and hold shift while dragging to just drag it straight across and we're gonna put it about here now we're gonna grab this corner hold shift grab this corner move it and then start holding shift and move it to about here oh excuse me I made a mistake I didn't 
move the keyframe forward. So this is how it starts out. Let's move forward. There we go. And now we do that trick. Move it here. Grab it. Make sure that you gr start moving it before you press shift to make it go straight. All right. So now, as you can see, it sweeps across the text and it has that kind of effect. However, if we were to select this, you notice that there's these lines right here. It's very obvious what's happening. So to fix that, you turn up the mask feather. It's this thing right here. Let's turn it to about, well, first 200. Now you notice, first of all, that the E, even outside of this box, you can kind of see it's glowing. So that shows the mask feather basically says, okay, these lines are kind of a guideline, but we're going to blur it a little bit so it can come outside of the box as well. However, because we've blurred it so much, it blurs inwards as well, so it's not um, kind of hard to explain, but it basically makes the effect less obvious. So we're going to bring it down to a, a more balanced spot. Now we can see the glow coming better. Let's do it at about 100, okay? And here, we still get the nice glow effect. Maybe we can turn up the intensity a bit if we want. But we also get a kind of more natural thing where you can't tell there's a border, okay? So that's exactly what we want. It looks great at least in my opinion. And we're gonna just play it quickly by pressing zero. It's a bit slow. I wanna move this keyframe to there, try again. That's more what I wanted. Okay, so now we want the text to go away. And that's going to use a transition. I've taught you about adjustment layers. They basically apply to everything under it. And I've taught you about masks. Oh, by the way, let me just show you what a mask looks like when applied to a regular layer. It will only, excuse me, you need to, if you've picked a regular layer, you need to make sure the mask is applying as a mask rather than a shape. Um, as you can see, it only shows the part of the layer that's under the mask. So that's just kind of to show you how it works in that context as well. All right, so now let's use a transition. They're under here, uh, actually you have to select text first, effect, down here, your menu will be smaller, I have a ton of plugins, but go to transition, and let's choose grid wipe. And basically, if we go here to the completion and drag it up, this is how it works, it just does a grid like that, okay? So, Let's wait until the end of the glow, pause for a couple seconds or something, press the stopwatch, move it forward, and do the thing to complete to 100%. And we're going to copy this by doing Control C and paste it right here. Oh, excuse me. Um, press U here to see the keyframes. When you copy and paste to another layer, it will start wherever the time thing is, the time indicator, you need to place it at the first keyframe in order to copy it perfectly. Oh, excuse me, I might have done something wrong again. No, that's, it worked. Okay, so now they both go together. It's a bit slow for a transition, so we're just going to move these back a little bit. So now let's press zero for a RAM preview. And that's looking pretty good, guys. There you go. So that's an adjustment layer, that's a mask, and that's what a transition is. And there's more transitions. You can play with them on your own. One last thing. I want to show you how the mask can be practically used. We did this color correct on this clip earlier. What we're going to do is delete the color correct, create a new adjustment layer, and we're going to create a mask for the upper half of the video approximately and then we're going to do effect uh, excuse me generate oh no what am I thinking color correction curves and we're gonna just kind of brighten it up turn up the contrast a bit 
there we go and go to blue and turn that up a little bit so it's a bluish tint okay so as you can see it only applied to where the mask is and you can see that border once again you usually on a mask want to go down here and turn the feather up a bit so it's more natural and now it looks quite a bit more natural so that's just kind of showing you another practical use of an adjustment layer all right guys i hope this helped you out and make sure to keep this project saved as something i saved it as blah and i will see you for the next tutorial thanks for watching goodbye